Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 40 and throttled down to prepare for max Q, which is coming up at T plus one minute. Power and telemetry nominal. One minute and about 12 seconds. Maximum dynamic pressure. And great news. We have passed through max Q. You're getting some excellent views there on your screen. Next up, we have a few events happening back to back. That will be Miko stage separation and SES-1. Miko is main engine cutoff, and that's where we'll shut down all nine of the M1D engines to slow the vehicle down in preparation for its next event, which is- MVEC chill has started. Stage separation. And that's where the first stage separates from the second stage. Right after stage separation, the first stage will begin its journey back to Earth for landing on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. And during that time, stage two will continue on its journey with that third event, SES-1 or second stage engine start one. And that is where the single Merlin vacuum engine will light up and propel the second stage along with ESA's Euclid spacecraft to orbit. In addition to these three major events, the fairing halves will separate less than a minute after SES-1, so keep an eye out for all of those events coming up here in just about 15 seconds or so. Again, coming up, we have Miko stage separation and SES-1. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Some really cool views of Miko stage separation. And on your right hand screen, you can see that the MVAC engine has ignited. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. On your left hand screen, the grid fins on the first stage are deploying. And in about 15 seconds or so, we should have fairing separation. And a very cool view from the ground. Fairing separation confirmed. And there you can see on your right hand screen that the fairing halves have deployed. Now, as I mentioned previously, both fairing halves are brand new and are now making their way back down to earth and will be recovered by our recovery vessel, Doug, today. You may see some white puffs on that first stage. That is nitrogen gas puffs for attitude control. Stage one FTS has saved. And there you can see the engines have reignited on the first stage on your left hand screen. This is the entry burn with three of nine M1D engines reignited. The vehicle will be landing for its second time today. And just before the landing burn begins, we will also have SECO-1 on the second stage. That is second engine cutoff one. That's where we'll shut down that MVAC engine on the second stage. This is the first of two burns for this mission. And that is coming up here in just a few seconds, followed by the landing burn about 20 seconds after that. There you can see that the MVAC engine has shut down and the landing burn has begun on the first stage vehicle.
Expected loss of signal, Cape. Nominal orbit insertion. What an incredible clear view of Falcon 9 touching down on a shortfall of Gravitas. This landing marks the second successful landing for this particular booster and marks our 204th overall successful recovery of an orbital class rocket, including both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy first stages.